Right now, it's pretty hard to deny we are a lonely society. In many cases, COVID restrictions have pushed us to ask some really tough questions. Who are the people who are most important to me? Who can I depend on? Who do I feel closest to? To make matters worse, the volatile political climate has caused us to have some pretty awkward and heated arguments with people that we used to agree with. Who are your people? Who is your community in this weird and fractured time? If you're like many of us, you're feeling confused, discouraged, and pretty lonely. My encouragement today is this. What if we could use this time to create a radical change in the way that we see people around us and form friendships? What if we could uncover some amazing relationships with people that we would never have seen otherwise? We need people. Even Jesus had a group of people that he traveled and did ministry with. He knows that we need this. It's how we're made. But how often have you said, I'm just this kind of person and I need this kind of person to be friends with, whether it's introverted, extroverted, sarcastic, sweary, blunt. A lot of times we look for a very specific type of person to be friends with and we think that that is the best fit for us. But Jesus flips this mindset on its head. He says, if you love only those who are lovable, do you expect a pat on the back? Run of the mill jerks do that. And if you care for those who only care for you, do you expect a medal? Even the stingiest of pawnbrokers do that. In other words, if you pick only the people that match you, what kind of friendships will you gain? What, how will you grow or what will you discover if you only look for people that are very much like you? And right now, you may not even have a lot of people around who fit that description. So what is there to gain by forming friendships with people who aren't easy? Jesus says it this way, if you have a dinner, don't invite your friends and your family and your rich neighbors. Instead, invite the misfits from the wrong side of the tracks and you'll be blessed. So who are the misfits from the wrong side of the tracks in your life? I bet you can picture them. And what would be gained by befriending them? What Jesus knows is that if we befriend people who aren't like us, they can grow on us in some amazing ways. And how does he know? Because that's what he does with us. We certainly are not like him and we don't make ourselves very lovable many times, but he came and began the friendship with us and he truly enjoys us. Love transforms people. And when we love people who are different than us, the love can change both of us. If you're not sure that this can happen, think about how many TV shows and movies we watch where characters are really very different and learn to appreciate one another. If we can buy it in a movie, we certainly can buy it in real life. So what if instead of continuing to look for the right kind of person and getting disappointed when you're not finding them, what if you could actually see the people who are around you and love them for the value that it will bring to grow and discover a new relationship together? Next week, we'll talk about some more practical ways to actually make that happen.